Happy Friday, everybody. It went. You're not doing the thing you're supposed to do. This. Right in the middle. I was trying to open it. Oh. Plus, that's probably washed. That is really out. bad. You can't see it. Ooh. I'm going to break that. it is. All right. What is that? This is uh, Grand Napa Vineyards. Mm -hmm. The 2016 Cabernet Sauvignon Reserve. Is it a special line, or you just grabbed it? You can't, even a little bit. So yeah, surprise everyone, we're not at the new house. We don't have internet there. There's no internet service yet. That's next, next week? No, the 26th. So the week after next? Week after next. So originally I was like, let's do it at the new house. It'll be like really exciting. And Matt's like, there's no internet, so you can't. Can't so, do it. Can't do it. So we're here again. Mm -hmm. I still haven't put the phone back up. Oh, foam. I thought you said phone. I was like, what phone? All right, we're using this handy dandy opener. I gotta remember how to do this again. And then you do this, mm -hmm. right? And you right. just go like this. Yep. And then you just do this. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, there we go. Except Happy first day of winter, indeed. These are really small. Is that small for everyone? Make it bigger. There. Thank you, Steve. Hopefully, it, I wonder if it snowed down in Mankato. I don't, did it? Like it did up here, because it, it was. Snowed. It was painful. Yeah. It was like. It hurt. Yeah, well, it was cool. Okay, so it snowed this morning here. It was like really pretty, fluffy Christmas snow. And then we went to the farmhouse, and Matt was like gonna unload the trailer and stuff. Yeah, I brought over some wood. All of a sudden, like from far end, we can see hail coming, and we were watching it move to us. <laughs> And Matt was farther was, away from me. So like Matt got hit first and then he's like, it's coming for you is when he screamed. And then it got me and it it really hurt. I've never really seen like you can see the front just coming in yeah. across the property. It was and probably, hit you in the face. It was so cool actually. It was probably one of the coolest things I've seen. So that was the sound today. Oh. Is it better? Is the sound good? I don't put this on anymore because I feel like I ruined it. No snow in Mankato. Oh well, that's lucky. I mean, they're in the south, you know. For all of your scanning privileged per people or whatever, if it's focusing on that or not, I can't tell if it's in focus. Is that focused, camera lady? Yeah, it's focused right now. Okay, good. Don't move. <laughs> 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 oh, so Alan sent a super chat. Congrats on the secondary main house. <laughs> so <laughs> just ridiculous. Um, That's a wood talk joke. Oh, I don't know. Because uh, Shannon has a house in Maine or a shop in Maine at his in-laws I think it's his in-laws okay in Maine or whatever anyway see he has two shops that's that's the joke mm. and it happens to be in Maine mm. but it's not his main shop like right that's why he put the e there that yes. makes sense it's a fun it's, mm. mm -hmm. it's it's silly because it's his second shop but it's in Maine so it's his main shop but it's not really his main you mean main you're shop. explaining to me what the word Maine has multiple meanings <laughs> yes <laughs> lawyered but yeah, we bought a house yesterday. It's crazy. We did buy a house yesterday. Mm -hmm. It was pretty sweet. Yeah. Also, I don't know what else we bought. That was it. <laughs> I feel like that's enough. Surprise, I bought something else. No. No. I bought new wine glasses that I'll probably promptly break. We did buy new wine glasses. We went to Target. Uh huh. We had like the, the, the new home Target run thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that was cool. I haven't had that. Like, you did, like, all the time, like, in college when you move apartments all the time. Oh, yeah. Right? So, like, I was kind of used to that, doing that, like, once a year, once every couple of years. Mm -hmm. And then, like, we did that when we moved to this house. And then I haven't done it in, like, eight years. Nine. The whole, like, five, nine years. The whole, like, we need a bunch of stuff. Like, weird stuff you don't think about. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Well, like, towel, we bought towels. We didn't really buy much at all, actually. Like, because we didn't have a lot of time because we had to be back by five for the nanny and we kind of forgot about that part. <laughs> like, all of a sudden we're like, oh shoot, it's like three. This house is a half hour away where we currently live. So we need to get in the car and go. But we bought some hand towels for like the um, dry, bathroom drying your hands. for drying your hands. You know, bought soap and. Buy a lot of soap. Oh, you need to. And. Just little odds and ends that you can have two of because you're going to use it anyway, right? Like yeah. soap. Soap. Mostly soap. Different dish kinds soap. of soap. Hand soap, dish soap, body soap. We got it. La laundry soap. Laundry soap. Oh my gosh, you're right. All, all we did all was buy soap. soap. <laughs> we bought soap and then like a couple towels and then realized we bought no kitchen towels. So we're going to fix that. Or, or but, Yeah. Or food. Or food, yeah. Or oh, another super chat from Jake. 
It says your land is absolutely beautiful. Congrats. I wish you many years of happiness there. Well, thank, thank you. you. I'm really excited. We're off to a good start. We had, we had a good day today. Mm -hmm. We went there for a few hours. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so we get to see what it's going to look like mm -hmm. in the winter for like a few minutes before yeah. it melted. How many acres cool. come with the house? It's 22. 22 acres. acres. Mm hmm. And. Which we walked them yesterday. All of them. For the first time. Like, yes. Like a full on walk the whole thing. Uh huh. We walked the entire perimeter. It took a while. <laughs> <laughs> it was fun though and necessary. We got to kind of plan like, oh, it'd be fun to put like a vineyard here. Yeah. We have a lot of planning to do. Yeah. Which is, I think it's good that we're not like jumping in everything right away. We can kind of plan things and figure mm -hmm. out we're going to put this, this shop and the sawmill building yeah. and all that stuff. All that stuff. Yeah. So a lot of people are like, you're not moving right away, which makes me sad that we're not, but we're not because Matt will probably do a little vlog of like the in, the inside of the house at some point, I presume. I figured we'd do that before we started. Well, yeah, but I mean like sooner, like we're going there tomorrow. So maybe we'd do it tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe not. I mean, this will look like I'm not doing that tomorrow. <laughs> I don't know. I was just planning on doing like the before, like when we start the series. Well, for sure, but with the plan. Here's the here's how it is now. Here's the plan, and yeah. plus 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 the hole in the wall or something. Take a start, you know. Great. Like, well, you know, you take the first <laughs> scoop and break ground. There you go. Easy. Yeah. No, but so the kitchen needs to be updated. It's probably the original kitchen from 1961. Probably, yeah. Like, for sure. So I was thinking about this. Like, it occurred to me that since there was a kitchen in the basement, I kind of oh, think yeah. that maybe it was originally like, the, like a two-level house. The main level is the main level now was the upstairs originally. Mm -hmm. So the kitchen used to be a bedroom. Oh, I, I could see that. Yeah, yeah. Is how I started. I, was, I couldn't sleep again last night, so I was laying in bed <laughs> thinking about this. Mm -hmm. I'm like, that makes total sense now, where it's like the main level was actually the basement. It's this walkout. Yeah. So that was like the living area with like the living room, yeah, the fireplace, it has a stove, and yeah. the um, there's a bathroom down there with a the shower, everything, and then and the kitchen area uh -huh. with the laundry, yeah. and then you go upstairs. Those are the bedrooms, which is now the main level of the house. Actually, that makes like a ton of sense now that you say that. Yeah. Uh, yep. This is what I think about at night. Yeah, that's what happened. Prior four plans. <laughs> because like if you look, um, that's what I mean. That's why the kitchen's so small, probably because it used to be a bedroom. Yeah, actually, yeah, that's exactly what happened, probably. I get, that makes sense. Ah. Look at that. Learning, figuring out, being Matthew detectives. detectives. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, the um, stuff up. So the kitchen's very old. And right now the now current second level has basically two masters, like a mini master and then a normal master. Um, and that's it for bedrooms upstairs. And we have three kids and we had like everyone on the same level. So Matt was like, well, if we're gonna redo the kitchen, we might as well do it all at once. And throw another level up on top of that kitchen if we're going to push it out and put a bedroom up there. I'm not really good at designing. That's like an understatement. I'm like terrible at it. So we're hiring an architect. He's going out to the property with us and our contractor on Thursday. That was fast. I know. Which is also our inter wedding anniversary. Happy anniversary. I married you. Yeah. In case you forgot. Okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah. Nine years. So yeah, for our nine-year wedding anniversary, we're going to go around our, uh, the new house and kind of plan and say, all right, what would make sense? What would like be like an organic extension to this house? And then the stuff like cost, how much would that cost? Is it reasonable to do it now or later? Things like that. So. Mm -hmm. That's our life. That's our life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, right. There's a question I lost it now. Couple so, Slab Vineyard. Yep. There you go. That's maybe the name. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cup of diesel. <laughs> Do they let you buy a lot of soap? It's true, like Target, some of the places <laughs> don't let you buy so many. The secret is you buy like different kinds. Different kinds. Like mm -hmm. it's different all different flavors. hand soaps. It's all you can't you only buy one hand soap, but you can buy one every flavor. That's what I did. I bought different different <laughs> kinds. <laughs> That's like one one different skews technically. Uh-huh. You know? It worked. Mm -hmm. It worked. Now you know my secrets for shopping. Yeah, so congrats. Thanks, Robert. Thank you, Robert. And the new shop, which is now going to be a three-car garage instead of two. Actually, yeah. We're pumped about that. We should have got shower curtains because they took the shower rod even. <laughs> there's no shower in there, remember? No, but there was a shower rod. Like, there was, when we... You have to make it look like there's a shower there, but... Then they took the rod down. I find, I just find that odd. It's a rod. What's the problem? Like I said, I find it odd. Okay. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's just so weird to me. Um, were we looking for four years? Mm, three. Three and some change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Straight up three. Straight up three. Well, more than that. I did the, uh, I remember having the conversation with the broker when I was reassembling my sawmill after, after I took it apart to paint it in mm. 2017. Mm -hmm. So that summer, I was like on the phone with them in the middle of doing that. That's a long, <laughs> my sawmill wasn't painted when there we started. <laughs> probably provides better reference to the people who are watching that. <laughs> it was a while ago. Yeah, quite a while ago. So this is a woodworking question. Planning to make the vanity, does it have enough storage as is, or would your wife be happy if you put more boxes on top? I think that's more of a question for you. I know. That's why I'm going to answer it. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> Perfect. I'll just sit here and drink this wine. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I don't have an answer for you yet because we haven't used it yet. It's, we're going to move it over to the new house because I don't want it to get nicked. With nowhere to put it right now? Because we no room in this current house. But I will... Well, what kind of things are you storing it normally? Like, the well, top drawer boxes, I figured they were good size for either nail polish or, like, rings. The fact that he said nail polish, I don't even... What? No. Like... You don't nail polish anymore? That doesn't make sense. To, I would never put it in a vanity because what if it spilled? It would ruin it. You put, I mean, that's why you put your little cotton balls full of acetone on the coffee table and you burn a hole in the lacquer. Yeah, that's exactly why. That's, that's, why, that's why I don't use lacquer on coffee tables anymore. That's what coffee tables are for. Not vanities. Okay. <laughs> Get okay. your furniture yeah, right. Just so you know, acetone will eat your lacquer. <laughs> no. Polyurethane holds up much better to acetone. So I am planning on using them for jewelry, like the top to put necklaces like laid out flat um, in both. Because I... So make some inserts. Those. Yeah, so I would, you know, do that. Or you put velvet on the bottom because that would be nice. So it lays flat and nice and they don't move around. For necklaces? Yeah. Don't they have, like, little holders for those? Well, I, you don't want your necklaces to hang. It puts They're pressure. Not hanging, but, like... You could. You tuck the, the pendant oh, in yes. the thing and then the chain just kind of chills. You can do that, yeah. Or you can make... If your wife has lots of rings, you could put then the ring holders. Yeah. I personally don't because I only wear, like... For me, I have a wedding ring, and then Matt bought me this. The other ring on my other hand is a replica of Matt's mother's wedding ring, and this one is my grandmother's wedding ring, so I won't change them because of, like, sentimental value. But a lot of people change this ring out if they don't have a sentiment. So, like, that would be a good thing. Go with the other drawers. We're going to put the other ones. So the other ones, I'm going to put my makeup, and I don't know. I don't know what else. As you can see, I don't brush my hair, so <laughs> I don't even own a hairbrush. Oh, good. We have something in common. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what else I'd put in it outside of, I don't know, actually. Yeah, I mean. Curling iron? Is that something you put in there? No. You don't do that hair there? I mean, maybe. I guess it would depend on where it is in relation to your house. So, so we didn't answer the question We didn't answer your question yet. The thing is, the top I would use for jewelry, though. <laughs> so if your wife has lots of jewelry, make extra boxes for her jewelry. Figure out what she wants to store in there and go from there, I guess. Right? <laughs> all right, what else we got? Um, yeah, not bitter at all about this acetone thing, buddy. <laughs> no, it's fine. I fixed it. <laughs> you fixed it. Uh -huh. I learned a valuable lesson. Yeah, I taught you. You're welcome. Yeah. That's, <laughs> yep. That's what it was. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. Um, correction, Kyle. I did not give him an out to not buy more jewelry. Just no more rings. That would be silly. Only necklaces. <laughs> necklaces and earrings only. Yeah. <laughs> he knows. Toe rings. And toe rings. I mean, who? Yes, toe rings. <laughs> Please buy more toe rings <laughs> for me. All right. This is a good question from Dan. Does anyone have any ideas of what to do with a bunch of wedge-shaped cutoffs? They're pretty big from tapering table legs, and I feel guilty just burning a bunch of mahogany. I can never say that word. Mahogany. Mahogany, which is a really pretty wood. I agree. Don't burn that. Uh, so I kind of went through the thought process of that with the chaos cutting boards because they had all these wedge shaped pieces. Um, so what you can do with the wedges or the tapers, the taper pieces, is you can glue them together and make some kind of like sunburst kind of pattern and cut that into something that's a uh, something you could do if you want to go down the, the cutting board path with it you can take a uh, a wedge and then put the opposite wedge on the other side and glue those together so then you have a glue seamless diagonal through those and I guess you have to use it for cutting boards but that's like an easy place to use them because you have like an interesting glue line and you can always put like a piece of um, 
contrasting wood in there. So it's like very obvious that there's a diagonal line that's going through there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't know. Small projects is like where pens, my mind goes. Right? You could do pens, I guess. Yeah, you could do like pen pen blanks with with like a diagonal in it or, or mm -hmm. something like that. Um, I would use them as wedges for sawmilling and. Oh, like actually use them as like a work like work piece, like. Yeah, like a yeah. shim, you know. Yeah. Big big giant shims. Mm -hmm. I, guess I guess it's guess. better than burning. I mean, it has a second life. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to actually make anything out of them, that's something you can get some use out of them without just burning them. I suppose you could just make candles. Like I'm looking at all your handles that you know Dima makes the handles. For... Yeah, I mean, you can always cut them into smaller pieces, so then you can make turning blanks out of a small enough piece mm -hmm. if it doesn't taper too much, you know, right. something like that. These are all I don't know, hopefully someone else has got some good ideas, because I, I ain't got nothing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, here is a question. Hope this isn't too personal. Did you structure the new home purchase as a construction loan? We did not, know. No. Because we don't have everything finalized at the time of closing. Yeah, so the time of closing, they won't, or at least our bank, and I think probably most, won't give you a construction loan unless you have plans and, like, a contractor. And that way what they're going to do is they're going to get appraisal as built. Yeah. And they can't do that for us because they don't know what it's as built. Kinda, like, I don't know, like, in what scenario would you have, like, we're buying this house from somebody else and we somehow have all these plans figured out already. Right. While someone else owns the house. Because we kind of tried to do it because I don't want to pay two closing costs because... Closing costs are a lot. <laughs> um, but if we don't just finance with cash, we're going to have to get a loan, which means we will have two closing costs. Um, but, we, you know, we're talking to, we already had a contractor figured out, but, like, the problem is plans. And so we talked to an architect, you know, really like him. And he's like, well, I need to get into the house. <laughs> like, he has to see it and kind of, you know, draw it. And... Yeah, and there's lead time there, too. So I don't yeah. know in what kind of world, like, unless you have, like, a really long closing period. Mm -hmm. Of like four months, five months, six months, like that's not common, right? Yeah, because like closing that, it's like, like forty-five to sixty days is I think pretty long. Yeah, like you want to close as soon as possible, or most usually. Will do. So I don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what scenario you'd be like. I'm buying this house from somebody and renovating. I'm it. renovating it, and I have it all figured out at the time of closing. Right. At least based on like what our lender wanted for us in order to like rump it together because you know then they would just do several disbursements yeah. which is fine we didn't get to do that <laughs> so oh well oh well <laughs> that's life that is life say the v yep <laughs> oh funny good question though your current wood miser sawmill does it run on gasoline petrolo petrol petrol or diesel electricity which is generated by i don't know what they use here for plant because that's always like the, the funny thing about like electric this, electric that is like if you're charging it from something off the grid, technically it's not like 100% green. Because mm -hmm. if it's like like in Kenosha, it's all coal burning. Mm -hmm. So if you have an electric vehicle, they burn coal to generate electricity that then you're using in your car. So your emissions technically are not zero. They're just mm -hmm. not at the car. They're back at the power plant. Mm -hmm. But that's a fun little side. <laughs> 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 All right. All right. Here we go. How many items have of furniture have you made, and how many of them were walnut? You do make a lot of walnut. Walnut and cherry. I think I might have more cherry pieces. Actually, I think so too. Not you say that. I don't know how many things I've made, but we're talking about doing that like funny picture. Oh yes. When we move, of like every single thing that I still own, mm -hmm. pulling it all out in the pasture and getting a picture of everything at once. Yeah, that would be fun. Which is gonna be like. The most amount of work I've ever done for a picture. But it's totally like up your alley. But it's something, something I would do. totally do. Yeah, we'll probably yeah. do it. I'll, I'll make sure I'll call Dima that day. <laughs> yeah, Dima, you're going to come He's over. the official furniture mover guy <laughs> for pictures. <laughs> for ridiculous pictures. Yeah, yeah. He'll have to help. <laughs> you give him like a lot of, I don't know, he doesn't really drink, so. Okay, like, turning blanks? I turning blanks? Yeah, there you go. Give him some more mallet mm -hmm. blanks or something. I don't know. Yeah, you can't really like coax him with wine or beer. He's so, like, cool. Mm, I'll figure something out. Are you guys going to be in Minnesota, or do we break the law and move into Cheeseland? <laughs> no, we did not go to Cheeseland. <laughs> nope, we're still in Minnesota. Um, we're like in the Stillwater area. Not Stillwater, but right around there. Yeah, it's kind of out there. Mm -hmm. And we're getting pretty close to Cheeseland. We both we, are we originally from. We could bike to Cheeseland. We could bike there. Yeah. <laughs> Get some spotted cow and come on back. Mm. Yeah. 
There you go. Oh, this is a really great idea. For the arboretum, have a tree and then assign identifying the tree and the wood from that species of the tree. I like that. That's how arboretum should be. Oh, okay. <laughs> you like sound very passionate about I am because that, like the arboretums I've been to is like some of them like are very poorly labeled. Uh -huh. Like you're like, oh, it's a tree collection, but none of the trees are labeled. So like what, what's the point? Mm -hmm. But the wood thing would be a really good idea as an addition. Yeah, no, I like that. Like then and you're like, oh, and this is what it looks like out of the bark. Yeah, that's what that's what my idea or my vision for the arboretum is. It'd be like like the tree collection that you can see. And one of the things that is not gonna happen in my lifetime, only if it becomes managed by someone else, is that the ideal arboretum like they have the one in England mm -hmm. is they have every tree that they have in their collection at different stages in this development in life. Mm -hmm. So you have like a sapling of this and you have like a you know, like whatever older ish, like a yeah. thirty or forty year old version. Then you have like the 150, 200 version of it, so you can see it in the different stages. Well, I, I feel like the kids would like that a lot. Well, they'll, they'll probably be dead too. Well, no, don't <laughs> say that. <laughs> don't like, I mean, I know it's inevitable, but it is still sad. That's my legacy right there. Yeah. There you go. There you Since go. Since we care about legacies now. I always have cared about legacies personally. That's like a thing that I like. It's a Hamilton thing. It's a Hamilton thing, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, this is from Logan. Congrats on the new house. What kind of wines do you want to make in the future vineyard? I don't know, because I've never made wine. How about good wine? Wine that doesn't like, isn't terrible. I'm gonna set my bar right there. <laughs> Just as long as it's drinkable. Yeah, palatable? That's I mean, it's probably gonna be as good word. as this. But I, I'm, I'm not so worried about like, the wine I end up making is the process and understanding it more. Mm -hmm. I think it's really interesting. Is like there's a lot of it goes into winemaking, mm -hmm. and uh, I kind of want to demystify that for myself a little bit more. I also feel like then you might you always enjoy it more. Like I like cooking because I always enjoy the food better because I know well, how much work it if it's good, took. Though. You act like I'm not a good cook. Talk about the wine I'm not making oh. yet. But even if it isn't great, you're still gonna be like. Wow, I remember this grape. Yeah. Well, yeah. no, I think you'll still be like, this is, if someone off the street drank it, they might just be like, Ugh. I think it's actually it's more fun from like the the vintage oh, thing where yeah. you're like, this is from 2023. Mm -hmm. That was the year that this happened. You know, it's like a memory time capsule kind of thing. Yeah, when we first got married, we were saving the corks from our bottles of wine and we would write down like, September 3rd, 2012, you know, whatever it was that day, why we were drinking a bottle of wine, but then we just stopped doing it and... Give it too many corks. We didn't have that many, honestly. Yeah, we don't have, like, we don't have like a barrel to put them in. Yeah, or... no, we had like, a little thing that we got from our honeymoon. I mean, a little, you're like... exaggerating how big it is. It was like this. Okay, it was like this. <laughs> <laughs> that took like a, two years, I feel like, to fill up though. Probably. Yeah. But then it was like, we never pulled them out to look at them either, though, too. Like, also true. Like, once they went in the bin, that was it. That was it. Never like, saw them again. Every once in a while, I would find one that would, like, fall out for some reason. And I'd be like, oh, yeah, this is, like, New Year's Eve. Oh, yeah. That was fun. It was a New Year. Yeah. 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 It was last year at one point. That was. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. What else we got? <laughs> oh, you're just scrolling through things today, mm -hmm. huh? Matt. Have you voted yet? This is the first presidential election Mac gets to vote in. I'm an actual voter now. It's a big deal. I haven't voted yet. No, I think we're going to go on the day of. Mm -hmm. we're gonna, I'm going to experience that. It honestly is, we can walk there. So for us, it's like, I would say not a big, there's not a big barrier entry to go there because like if it's busy, come back later. we just come back and go back. Like we literally, it's on the way to get coffee. So I'd be like, cool, we're going to get coffee. Yeah. And then we'll just come back. So... Not yet. Yeah. I think in person's going to be kind of fun. It at is. Least, at least once in my life. Oh, right. Well, I've always gone day of. I've never not. And also, it's always been very easy for us because it's, like I said. Right there. Right there. Right there. How much of your pasture land is going to go towards the winery operation? I don't know. Depends how much. How you, you get, get into how it? How much we get into it, I guess. Yeah. The um the area we're looking at is the high ground, 
and that's a section that is uh, three and a half acres, I think. So that would be like the winery and like, like the garden and probably the orchard is probably up, up there too. Mm -hmm. So somewhere around there, unless I, we decide to put them somewhere else. Yeah. But the lowlands probably not going to be the best place for the vineyard though. No. Mm -mm. This is a really good question from David. I really love the wood floors that you did in your current house. Any plans to include hardwood floors like that in the new place? Yes. This is new information to me. You were asked me. <laughs> That's why I had David do it. <laughs> Where? On the rooms of the carpet right now. So the boys' room? That's like really, oh, I guess the study, but that study's going to go, maybe. Yeah, and the living room. Oh, you're right. That room does have carpet, now that you mention it. Yeah. Okay. There's lots of room. And then all the trim is like the standard basic mm -hmm. trim right now, too. So. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's nice and trim, too, while we're at it. Yeah, sweet molder. Yeah. So how are the schools by the new house? They're best in Minnesota. Don't fact check me on that because it might not be true, but it's, I know for sure they're actually extremely good schools. And rumor is that, so this will be in the Stillwater School District, not Mata Midai. Mata Midai is allegedly the best school district in Minnesota. That's what people tell me. Um, Minnesota has school choice and we are literally like on the border because Grant like splits it. So I feel like I could probably throw them into Mata Mide. I don't know. I feel like we both went to like poor rated I, schools and I it did. turned out just fine too. So that is true. I don't know. <laughs> that was surprising. You're like, we should look up our, the ratings for all the schools we went to. I'm like, oh yeah, we did that. Oh it man, was sad. <laughs> it was very sad. Um, I think mine was a two out of ten. Yeah, definitely, I think both were under five for sure. Oh no, it was two or three. I think one of ours was three and one was two. Oh, there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, woo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, interesting. No one usually wants to hear about me, but Joseph, I love these shows. Maybe talk a little bit more about being a lawyer. Billable hours requirement? Oh. I figure no one really cares that I'm a lawyer and they just care that... I care deeply. No, you don't. <laughs> I figure people just like care that Matt is here and I just facilitate. But <laughs> what? Is that I not like true? I that you're here. Well, I know you do to facilitate. So yeah, talk about you a little bit. Yeah, I am a lawyer. At a private law firm, I do have a billable hour requirement that's actually extremely low for typical law firms. It's only sixteen twenty-five. Uh, typical law firm is about like eighteen, which is ridiculous. What's that average? For me, I, I mean, I know for me, on a minimum basis, I have to do thirty-five billable hours a week in order seven. to hit so seven a day. Is that right? Which yeah. right? Yeah. Which to like someone who's not a lawyer, they're like, okay, work seven hours a day. That sounds easy. Um, First, my 1625 is actually post cut. So it actually has to go out and be billed to the client. It can't be like, I worked 10 hours on this letter, but we only bill two. Well, you only get two of those 10 hours. Um, so as a, like a younger attorney, you have to work more than 35 hours for sure to hit it. Um, typically I try to hit like 150 to 160 of hours a month. But I mean, the reason that our law firm has a smaller billable requirement is that, and this is why I picked our, the law firm I'm at and why I stay there is that they have a really high uh, focus on balancing work and life and that they think that you're going to be a better lawyer if you aren't overworked and that you don't spend every second billing. That you should take vacation, you should enjoy your family, you should do stuff outside of the office in front of a computer screen because then you'll produce better work, which is not true of all law firms. <laughs> They don't really care about that at all. So, good job. Yeah. Oh yeah. <gasps> Buy an ATV. Um, Matt wants a snowmobile. I don't. I would get an ATV. So. <laughs> oh, this is funny. We had the skid steer out there today. That's true. Kind of like a tracked mm -hmm. ATV. Yep. I was tooling around, mm -hmm. tearing up the lawn. That's right. How? Oh yeah, I'm not happy about that. <laughs> And also, like, I'm like, mm, mm. I can't, I want, the house looks so pretty and nice right now. And I'm just like, please just don't let us trash it. I can't help it. It's got tracks. You turn it and just rips. You know. It's all the wheels. How many glasses of wine till Matt starts acting goofier than normal? What do you think? Well, I'm pretty goofy normally, so I mean, it's. Yeah. It's like negative too. Yeah. Like. I think I get like more, less, less like less goofy. I think he just gets more tired. <laughs> There's also that too. Yeah. That's how we know he's turning into an old man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good luck with that. 
I know. Ooh, a cidery. In later months, you could further the season for you. And you made an apple press. We're going to do that press. too. That's what the orchard's for. Mm -hmm. That was so much fun. And even, like, before returning to cider, like, that was the best apple juice we've ever had. Oh, my like, gosh. In our entire lives. It was so good. Fresh we just pressed. did it right out there. Oh, oh. I'm like, please don't take us away and turn into cider. I just want to drink all this juice. It was. I remember gave some to JR. I think that was the first juice JR ever had. It was, yeah. And he was just like, <sighs> we're like, dude, it's never going to get this good. <laughs> that was 2017. So that's another thing I was doing. So that, when I built the apple press is when we started looking for house. Yeah, that's right. That's terrifying. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ooh. Do you know yet what your first species of tree that you're going to plant at the new place? Well, we're going to transplant. Some mm -hmm. from the um, the wooded front right. area there. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of white oaks mm -hmm. that are uh, prime size for transplanting. Mm -hmm. So probably white oak. Mm -hmm. I guess we found one walnut tree on the entire property. I was pretty excited about it. It was way in the back. Yeah. I was like, oh, cool. There's actually a walnut tree here. Mm -hmm. I was very surprised about that. Mm -hmm. um, so maybe some more walnuts. I don't know. Basically, what we can get for cheap. That's true. <laughs> Trees are cheap. aren't cheap either. So, so. it's like... Like, yeah, if I can transplant the ones that are on the property onto the open, I'll do that because it's, you know, the cost of renting a tree spade. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, I don't know how much trees cost. A couple hundred dollars a tree, probably. <laughs> so we have a new subscriber here. Um, oh, will you new be. New sub, new sub. New sub. Finally showed up, huh? Probably never heard of him before, Wood Whisperer. So... Sounds hokey. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like a real person, guys. <laughs> um... Will you be including new shop plans in the house renovations, or will that come after? That's that's gonna come probably long after. Long after. Yeah, that's this, this is already like a lot financially. Yeah. And I don't think spending the kind of money I'm gonna need to spend on the shop is gonna happen. Need to spend on the shop. Let's be. Oh, finally, it's, it's an investment. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. So yeah, no, he won't probably build his shop for. And it's probably gonna take me like two years to build it too, because I want to timber frame it. Yeah. And while you like, I have this like, I'm going to regret saying it and starting it this way, <laughs> but I want to like cut every single post and beam for the timber frame. You're going to be so crabby. Oh, I know. But that's why it's going to take me like two years. Uh huh. Because I'm going to be like, okay, I got to get a 40 foot tree mm -hmm. and cut like a beam for something. Mm hmm. And uh, there's not a lot of 40 foot trees around, so I gotta go find all these trees or buy them or something, I don't know, and cut beams out of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then timber frame it all. So there's that, I guess. Yeah. That's the dream, but I don't know. Labor of love. <laughs> are you gonna make like plans though? I mean, for the shop? Like, you're gonna like say, hey, anyone want plans? I mean, sure, but I don't know, like, in what scenario this would be like. Something somebody wants? I don't know. Here's a giant timber frame shop plan. Maybe. I mean. You want it. Are you that unique of a person? Yes. <laughs> I'm very unique. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. I don't know. So that's up in the air. But the nice thing that I'm really happy about with the property is rolling. So the, the dream shop for me is a two-story shop with both levels being ground Walk level. Walk out. So... We're on the right track there. Now we need a road to the shop area, way in the back. That I don't want to see because the best part about this property, the views. Like from the house, we've toured what? I mean, I agree with you. No, that no, is I the mean, best part. How many houses have we toured? Like sincerely. About 100. You think only 100? Around, yeah, probably right around 100, plus or minus 10%. Okay. So we've seen like a lot of houses and this house, hands down, while it does not have as much acreage as all of them we've seen, or even like as nice of a house, it has the best views of any of the houses that we've seen. Yeah. Because a lot of them, it's like house in the front, land behind it, house is facing this way. And for this house, it's house is facing this way, and then the land is this way. So you get to see a lot of your, like, it, and because it's rolling, you get to see yeah. a lot more too. It's amazing. Yeah, and the house is on high ground. It's the mm. highest, allegedly, the highest ground in like Grant or St. Croix Valley or some. I don't know. It's Washington high. Washington County. Whatever. It's high. I mean, it's definitely in no danger of flooding. No. That's that's for sure. Yeah. Um, 
but that's what gives it all the awesome views. So right. So this we're trying to preserve the views from the house, mm -hmm. the blocking with the building. So that's why that's going to be way in the back. That's right. Which is fine because it's a nice area back there. We've gotten this question a couple times. Uh oh. <laughs> Chris, as well as Emily, as well as Tommy Z, would you consider the barn as a shop? So a lot of people ask me this on the. Mm -hmm whatever you want to call it, video. The holy crap about a house video. Yeah. Only well, he didn't like use any of that catchphrase. He just wrote, we bought a house, no punctuation. Not trying to clickbait it at all. Don't have to. <laughs> and That's it's just funny. the best performed video I've had in a long time. That's good. I'm just saying, it's just funny. Cause I was like, can't even put an exclamation mark or even a period. He's just like, we bought a house. In the description, I wrote, finally, <laughs> exclamation point. I just like laughed really hard. Cause I was like, this is such a Matt, like description. Like I was like, this is exactly how Matt would title it. Yep. It's to the point. All right, with me, you get things that are to the point. You know, no BS. This is what you get. That's it. You just see what you get. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think a lot of people assume that barn is like a lot bigger. Oh, it's tiny. Than, than you think it is. It's smaller than the shop. And in re it's. Probably, or is it the size of the shop? It's, um, it's probably a little bigger than this. So the, um, a two the car. barn is probably like the equivalent of maybe like a three car garage, maybe like a little bit bigger. I was going to measure it today, but I forgot. But it looks like it's about the same size as the three car. So it's... Um, Does that include the upstairs? No, just the main okay. level. Um, and then the, the garage and the house is three car. Mm -hmm. The barn is a barn. It's made for housing livestock right now. Yeah, it's like dirt floor. So it has dirt floor. It's uninsulated. And the only advantage it has, it has higher ceilings. It does have two support posts. Mm -hmm. which I have one in here, and it's, it's terrible. I don't like having a support post. Mm -hmm. So in order to convert the barn to a shop space that then I'm going to move out of and then build a shop anyway. Right, his dream shop. But it he's... seems like an asinine amount of like wasted effort for and something money. that's only temporary. And that we wouldn't repurpose it. Because like, not, like not the to, shop... Not to the extent that yeah. I would make it a shop. Um, the other really great advantage of the garage is it has in-floor heat. Yeah, which is crazy. a dream for me as a content creator because I have to worry about my heater all the time. Like oh. right now it's off and it's getting cold in here because <laughs> I don't want the fan on. So that's a big plus for me. Mm -hmm. Also, it has no windows, which is going to be really nice for filming. So there's that. Type. Oh, the shop. Sorry. I was like, well, I think the barn, the barn windows. has windows. I guess so, yeah. Yeah. But um, basically, it's the effort. Like we're going to we're already going to have enough things to do at this place that I don't need to add on putting a floor into a barn and putting up walls in the barn, to then insulate the barn mm -hmm. and then do all the electrical and lighting in the barn mm -hmm. to then leave the barn in two or three or four or five years. Right. Also, so the upstairs of the barn is actually finished space already. Yeah. She had it as like a studio because um, the former owner was an artist. And um, so that part is done. Like he would use it as like, I suppose, like a office or something if he did make it a, a workshop, you can't, you can't really but like, up there. yeah, it's not it's not big enough to like, yeah, productively work in. Right. So, I want to be like I know a lot of people work in small spaces, and like this is a relatively small space too. But like that would be really tight. Like you really couldn't like if you're doing like, it'd be like your hand tool bench area, mm -hmm. and that'd be like that's that's it upstairs. Mm -hmm. Then you gotta carry everything up the stairs. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. anyway. Anyway, so then like our thought is because that part is already started the process of making it like finished space is that you know someday like my parents Matt's parents are going to get old and if they wanted to come live with us then we could at that time convert the barn into like livable like you could actually sleep in have a bathroom do all that because that to me has like longevity that uh shop doesn't have that same yeah like Plus sense it's, of. Cooler. it's like a fun little like space where you, like for that kind of stuff you need like like a bread like a bed and like a little like it's a loft yeah kind of thing Right, it's cheaper. So, all I, so for that, all we need to do is uh, septic. Yeah. For that. Right. So that's kind of our thoughts on that. Um, because I feel like we both feel very strongly of like, if either of our parents wanted to like live with us, they could. Now that we have the space. In the barn. In the barn. <laughs> you live in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. And I looked at it, I was watching the video again, like this morning. I'm like, yeah, a little bigger than it really is. Because I was driving by it today on the skid city. I'm like, yeah, you can see like the stall door, mm -hmm. which is like this size. And then the, the wall on the left and right is the same size as the stall door. So it's the same width as a three car. 
-hmm. It might be a little bit deeper, but I don't actually think it is any deeper than that. Mm -hmm. It's probably 30 by 20. Mm -hmm. 600 square feet, same size as the garage, roughly. So then you could dry slabs there instead of the basement. We're not doing it in the basement anymore. We're going to be doing all the slabs in the, what, the, what's it called? The horse shelter. And then the final drying will be in the vacuum kiln. We're, yeah, he's going to maybe build a vacuum kiln? I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I got enough things in the air right now. Oh, my dad says he's ready to move to the barn now. Oh, perfect. So. It's ready for you. We'll get you a composting toilet and you'll be all set. <laughs> Or a porta potty or something. <laughs> that feels great. <laughs> Why don't open the trap door? Oh, it's there's right right down to the to the barn beneath you. There's this terrifying trap door which we need to seal up immediately because it's just a death trap. Like it used to be, it used to be a hay loft, so right. so you can like drop the hay down onto yeah. the horses, mm -hmm. or you know you just fall through the hole. Yeah, like Matt like <laughs> lifted it up and then he tried to put it back and he's like, I think I'm gonna fall trying to put it back. Like it was yeah, very I was like, scary. I, maybe I shouldn't put this back. Uh huh. So yeah. like, now we probably need to put this trap door back. Yeah, it's like we need to seal it because we can't have. It's scary. It is. Oh well, thank you, James. Congratulations on your new home. Well, thank you. Yeah, it's crazy. It's. it's Isn't it weird like to say that? Yeah. So we were like, because now for the medium time, we have like two places. Yeah, we have two homes. Which is oh, insane. Real fancy. Wow. I think people forget we bought our current house when we were 23 years old. So. I was a young whippersnapper. That was a long time ago. Just can. wanted to buy a house. So I wanted in life home ownership. And he got it. it yeah. He I lived in La Crosse. I lived here. Uh, I was going to law school. And I don't know if we were engaged. Yeah, we were engaged. And obviously, we're like, you need to move to the cities. We're going to keep getting married. This is where we will live. <laughs> we're not going to live like apart. Like long distance marriage. We're not doing a lot. Yeah, we're not going to do long distance marriage because there's no reason to. And Matt's like, well, I'm not going to rent. And I was like, okay, well. Be homeless. We're gonna be homeless. Like, what's your plan? And he was like, "We're buying a house." And I was like, "Okay, like that seems crazy." We're like, you know, 22, 23, and everyone, like all of our friends, were like, "No one owns a house." Like, what is your your fiance is kind of weird? And I was like, "I don't know. It's his thing. It's my thing. It's all I wanted. It's all he wanted." They barely gave us a loan. <laughs> this is why I learned like you're very supportive of my crazy ideas. Yeah. yeah. See, I always have been. <laughs> I know I have been. So yeah, we basically had like 10 houses we could actually even afford to buy and this was one of them and it was not this was at the top end yeah some of the houses because this was after the market crash so we were looking through houses that had been like foreclosed out of that like were trashed to hell and mm -hmm. they'd made no effort to clean it up it was Be rough like in one room i swear to god someone was murdered the murder room yeah i remember that one we both were like the mold house oh man that yeah. was a good one too and they're like these houses are on the market would you like to you know and everybody was like this house could be for you and we're like there's literally blood just <laughs> all over. I think this is a pass. <laughs> there was splurge about this place. Splurge. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we um, are lucky because of that because while well, it was crazy at the time, it was the best financial decision we've ever made. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's worked out pretty well. It does. And now look at us. S still here. Still here. Still living here. <laughs> And we got new neighbors, and they're really nice. Dig new neighbors. I know. I'm bringing them over. Um... We met one new neighbor today when I was loading up the truck. I was checking the chains on the way out of here. I oh, met some, this... someone pulled up. Mm -hmm. Well, when I was on the side of the road down the street. Yeah, here, like at our current house. Yeah. Yeah, and they were like, "Hey, what's up?" People think that like I our neighbors. Watch your videos. I'm like, oh, that's People... how you know me. Mm -hmm. Also, we're neighbors. Yeah. Oh. Right. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. I know a lot of people think our neighbors are like. Do not like us, but it's actually, I don't want to like brag, but you know, brag. they like us. You know, like we're pretty cool people to live by. We live by cool people too. Like we're, it's, you know. It's a community. It's a, it's community a cool community. Awesome people. Yeah. So I think we're equally going to be sad. I'm going to miss this place. There's a lot of really great people around here. It really honestly is. But we did meet our first neighbors at the farmhouse and they were really nice. Well, I only met one, I guess, but. I met one of the neighbors. His wife that he talked about sounded very nice, too. He spoke highly of his wife, so yes. He did. <laughs> Quite highly. He did. Yeah. Okay, let's see what else we got. Oh, my gosh, we're only one more minute. Scott is very sad because we're living out his dream without him. Well, Scott should come here and stop working out there. Yeah, come on. Get off that West Coast. 
Yeah. Or something. <laughs> this is pretty accurate. The only houses in our price range were on fire. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's about right. Yeah, or were they? You know, they were at one point on fire. We watched. We walked through one of those as well. Actually, yeah, we did. So I mean, it was. Yeah, it was interesting. First time home buyer. Want to buy this money pit or that money pit? Which one? Which money pit would you like? Mm. I chose no money pit. Yeah. We well no. They told us not to buy this house too. <laughs> oh yeah. Well you know. Look at us now. Still in it. Still here. Still here. Oh, man. That's what I learned from life. Don't listen to the people. Well, I think you should still listen sometimes. This is just getting you, like, your head just being brazen <laughs> to do whatever you want and be like, I'm going to do some crazy stuff. Can't get wait. this world. <laughs> Maybe we'll listen to you tomorrow. Who knows? Maybe. Who knows? That's not today. No. Why? Why would you do that today? <laughs> nope. 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 All right, I'm gonna head upstairs because I have to relieve the nanny, but you can play. I can play, you have any oh. questions for me? You gotta pick the last question for me, I know. No. Here we go. You can answer this. From Bradley, from Australia. Would you please build the kids Ooh. cubby house Sorry. or pirate ship in the air? Oh my God, I would love that. Oh my gosh. A pirate ship. Can we do that? I want one. Yeah, I mean that's, um, one of the things that we're going to be doing now that we have a place is building the most epic kids thing. In other words, it's for the kids, but it's really for the adults, right? I, yeah, I'm going to hang out there for sure. Yeah, the clubhouse with the swings and the drawbridge and the bridge and lots of bridges apparently for um, everybody, I think. All right. I got a couple more. Uh, I bought this house in 2011, so that was um, nine years ago, nine and change, something like that. All right, and we will get another one. All right, last one. Uh, I'm gonna sell this place, and basically, I need the equity out of it. That's the the long and short of it, I guess. I prefer to get my money out of this investment than uh, continuing on as a landlord. So that is uh, that one. I hope everyone has a fantastic weekend. And um, I got a video coming out next week on blades. Yeah. Yeah, so I got to finish. I got I got I have to shoot the outro for that video. The slabs are at the new house. So that'll be like the new like the first song of the video where the ending of the video ends up at the new house. So I got to stack them. I shoot an outro. Or maybe I'll just shoot an outro with them just laying everywhere. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Have a great weekend, everybody. I will uh, I'll see you again.